inside has passed through peak deceleration. Telemetry shows the spacecraft saw about 8 Gs. Marco Alpha and Marco Bravo maintain lock. Radio science reports carrier detected. Several different communications coming in. Inside is now traveling at a velocity of 2,000 meters per second. Seems to have passed this very critical point of peak heating and peak deceleration. The next big step is parachute inflation. And you can see that on our timeline on the bottom of the screen. The next event is parachute deploy. Inside is now traveling at 1,000 meters per second. Once InSight slows to about 400 meters per second, it will deploy its 12-meter diameter supersonic parachute. The parachute will deploy nominally at about Mach 1.7. Standing by for parachute deploy. Radio science reports sudden change in Doppler. Ground stations are observing signals consistent with parachute deploy. Marco Alpha, Marco Bravo, maintain lock status. Telemetry shows parachute deployment. Radar powered on. Heat shield separation commanded. This is really good news so far. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm on pins and needles. Yes. We have radar activation where the radar is beginning to search for the ground. Once the radar locks on the ground and inside is about one kilometer above the surface, the lander will separate from the back shell and begin terminal descent using its 12 descent engines. Altitude convergence, the radar has locked on the ground. Yes. <laughs> Standing by for lander separation. Carrier interruption on Marco Alpha and Marco Bravo. Lander separation commanded. Yes. Altitude 600 meters. Gravity turn, altitude 400 meters. We're getting there. 300 meters. 200 meters, 80 meters, 60 meters, 50 meters, constant velocity, 37 meters, 30 meters, 20 meters, 17 meters, standing by for touchdown. Touchdown confirmed. Just erupted. 